Hello everybody, it is currently 8pm on Friday the 9th of June 2023 and it is the night before I embark on my Disney cultural exchange programme, probably the biggest thing I have ever done in my entire life and probably one of the biggest things I will ever do in my entire life. I just thought I'd quickly film this little clip to just say thank you so so much to all my friends and family for um, their continued support throughout this process. I've been very very spoiled this week by lots of wonderful wonderful people and I'm just so grateful to each and every single one of you from my uni friends, um, to people I've grown up with here in Stoke, to my work friends, like clearly I'm going to be very missed, which is very nice. I'm glad I'm not going to be forgotten about. <laughs> I'm all packed. My suitcase is all there with my lounge fly and my carry-on case. I've got 23 kilograms that I can take on the plane in my main suitcase, the big pink one. And originally when I put everything in it, it was 29 kilograms. So I had to get rid of quite a lot of stuff, but we've made it. It is dead on 23 kilograms, uh, but when mum and dad come with me to check in tomorrow morning, um, if it is over, then I'm just gonna take some stuff out and I can give it to them and they can bring it home. I've already kind of decided that I probably will have to book on another case for my journey home because if it's already full now and I'm going out there, then what am I gonna be like when I've bought loads of merch because that's gonna happen. It's actually been a really exciting day today. I have received my degree results. I got a first, which is very exciting. I've got now a first class degree in TV and radio production. And what better way to celebrate than going out to Walt Disney World and working there for the summer. I haven't mentioned this on my vlog yet, but about a month ago, I found out my location. I'm actually going to be working in the Grand Floridian, which if you're not f too familiar with Disney, um, that's like the five-star resort on property. It's very, very posh place um so yeah i'm not sure how a stoky girl like me is gonna fit in there but lots of smiles um and i'm gonna have to really like make myself sound like a posh british person i don't know no i'm gonna be myself i'm gonna be myself it's gonna be fine they've hired me because they like me for me so we'll stick with that <laughs> my flight leaves at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning from manchester terminal 2 and i'm flying out with two girls who have been on this journey with me helena and lucy and no doubt there's going to be lots of other people on this flight as well who are also doing the disney program we're going to get up um and go to the airport and be there for 7 a.m so obviously i will take you guys along with me this vlog is going to be kind of like my travel vlog and um staying the first few nights in orlando before we check into flamingo crossings on monday morning so we should land at about i think it's about 3 45 orlando time tomorrow in the afternoon and then we're gonna go around disney springs if we've got the energy we need to try and fight the jet lag and then yeah we've got sunday to just kind of get our bearings and chill and then monday we check into flamingo crossings i'm gonna shut up now i've already been rambling for about four minutes <laughs> but um thank you so much to everyone who's followed me on this journey so far and if you're new here welcome follow me on instagram if you want to see more content and yeah let the absolute summer of a lifetime begin Good morning everyone today is the day it is now 20 to 6 in the morning on saturday the 10th of june 2023 and i am moving to florida today for the next three months i think last night it hit me a little bit just how long i'm going away for i know it's not the longest time for some people but three months i don't know like it's only just starting being summer here in the uk and i'm not coming back until the autumn I don't know, it just seemed a bit bizarre. But I'm ready to go. I'll show you what I'm wearing. I've got my CEP hoodie on right now. Um, and it's got, I don't know if you can see that. It does say Culture Exchange Program on the back there. And it's got a little name tag there. And then Neve Jordan and Taz got me this little sash here, which is really cute. I've got my ears on as well. Um, Mum's blesser has just want me a bagel and a cup of tea um we're pretty much ready to go we're gonna be leaving here about six so in about 15 minutes um then we're going to manchester airport oh, yeah i just can't believe it's finally happening let's go you've got no idea that i'm going anywhere do you baby this is orly this is my absolutely gorgeous little boy are you gonna miss me oh it was such a good boy he's wanting to Jump out that open window. <laughs> bye bye, Orling. Just 
just said bye to Elliot and whilst I was putting my stuff in the car, my neighbour came out in a jar and bless her. Mum's all ready. She's got her ears on. We're going to Disney. Well, <laughs> in spirit. Dad's all right. He hasn't got his... Right, we need to go. We need right, to go. we're going to in the lift now, I've got my ears on, I've got everything pink, it's, well I look like Barbie or Sharpay or Elle Woods. I've got mum and dad, we're just going to go meet Lucy and Helena now. So we're in Manchester Terminal 2 now, just going to go and find where the girls are and I've also got my eyes peeled for anyone else who's in one of these CEP hoodies as well. No one will ever guess where I'm going with my ears on. <laughs> Hello everybody, so it's a little bit later now, we're now all checked in, we've dropped our bags off, we said goodbye to family, it was a little bit emotional, but um, yeah, it's all good. We're just in San Carlo in Terminal 2 having some breakfast, we've got some mimosas, I'm with Lucy and Helena, so here's Helena and here's Lucy. We're all off on this journey together which is so exciting and it's so lovely that um, we can all travel together. We're all staying in the same hotel for these next two nights. But yeah, we've just come for some breakfast. It's now 20 past 8 in the morning so we've got ages. Our flight doesn't leave till 11. I need to buy some sunglasses from Duty Free because um, I sat on mine which isn't ideal. Um, yeah, we've got some mimosas and I'm just going to soak up this experience. We're sat under this beautiful little blossom tree here and then just out there the runway and the planes. In fact, that might even be our plane over there. Here are the drinks and I'll show you the food in a moment. So I've just got a classic sausage sandwich here. Helena's got a lovely, that looks beautiful, that smashed avocado good. on toast. And Lucy's got mushrooms on toast. Mushrooms, lovely. I'm gonna eat this. It's, what time are we on? 8.26, so I've got ages to go. So this is our plane right here. And according to my air tag, my luggage should be in the right place, so fingers crossed. But yeah, we're flying Air Lingus, um, and our flight parts are 11 a.m. And then we should get to Orlando for 3:35 or 8:35 UK time. We've made it onto the plane. We're all good to go. We've got a whole seat or aisle all to ourselves. I'm on an aisle seat just here. Um, but yeah, we're gonna chill now. I think um, the flight. I think it's gonna be a little bit delayed because it's quarter to 11 now and people are still boarding so i can't see us taking off in the next 15 minutes um we're currently in an aisle like row but we're gonna see if there's any spare seats by the window just because apparently the flight isn't completely full so um we're just gonna wait till everyone's sat down and then the air hostess said we could move around a bit but we're all good to go can't wait to see what films we've got on the system got my travel pillow here got my hoodie um yeah Really time to head to Disney. So we've managed to move seats to a window seat. We've got the plane there. Not the plane. We've got a window just here, but on the wing. But look at this, guys. There's literally nobody around us at all. <laughs> so we've done very well. We're going to get comfortable. And we'll see you in Orlando. We've got some sweet and sour chicken there. It actually looks quite nice and some pasta. And then we've got white chocolate and raspberry mousse. And then some water. This is kind of interesting. In the little cup there. Um, this is the map. Oh, there we go. Well, we've flown over Ireland, so now we're just going over the Atlantic. Um, and it's actually going to get us there at half past eight UK time. So half past three um, American time which means they've knocked an hour off our journey time, which is good. And then this is the view out the window. Bit of a dirty window, but there we go.
guys we have made it we are in orlando we have made it it was actually such a good flight it was an hour less than it should have been it was like was it eight and a half or was it eight hours eight and a half instead of nine and a half so that's really good um passport control was like super super easy he was like um what's your purpose here and i was like i'm here to work and he said um oh you're the fourth disney person i've just had like have a wonderful trip so we're all good we're gonna order our ubers in a minute um but yeah it was a really good flight no problems with airling us whatsoever and surprisingly guys my case isn't too battered which is a win and i've been tracking it on my air tag as well because i was thinking if that case ends up in hong kong then the trip's ruined but no everything touch wood so far has gone really smoothly just got to get to the hotel now and then we can completely chill out but yeah first time in orlando since 2006 how exciting Oh, when you... <laughs> Great. <laughs> it's there, that's our hotel. On your way home. It can be stressful when it's the banking app that can help you get up to five hundred dollars instantly with extra cash. No interest, late fees, or credit check. Join the Yeah! We've done it! We've done it! We've done it! <laughs> Guys, we've done it! hotel literally everything couldn't have gone smoother obviously you saw a few clips there from being in the taxi that went really really well i can't get over the size of that car it was wasn't it like just the biggest <laughs> thing <laughs> we've ever <laughs> been in it was literally huge but we've made that it i know guy. but we're so proud of ourselves to be honest like we've managed to make it to the side of the world get from a to b now we can just chill we're gonna just facetime family i think have a quick shower and then head to disney springs because we can um it's 4 45 here so that's 8 45 9 45 back home um but yeah i'll give you a very 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 quick room tour and then i will catch you guys later so this is the room lucy is modeling it very nicely i've got two double beds here and then just a lovely large tv We've got a desk space here, uh, a wardrobe. Not that we're going to need much of this because we are literally only here for two nights. And then, uh, where's the light switch? Hello? Aha, let there be light. Okay, so we've just got a little, like, bathroom area here. There's the loo and the bathroom and the shower. No one's really interested in that. There's me wearing a California t-shirt, even though we're in Florida. Didn't think that through. And also, guys, I've got a new phone case. Can you see? Captain Jack Sparrow. Um, we've got a little <laughs> microwave here. Great, love that. Guys, we've got a microwave and a fridge. So we're all sorted. But yeah, I'm gonna FaceTime my mum and dad now just so that I can prove to them that I'm alive, happy and well. Um, and then I will show you some footage when I go to Disney Springs in a little bit. See you soon. Quick change and we are getting ready to go to Disney Springs. So I've got this lovely little dress on that I got in my Shein haul that I posted a couple of months ago. I've also got my new lounge fly on as well. This is my new lounge fly. I've got Helena and Lucy there. We're all just ready to go out this evening. We're just gonna do a little bit of browsing, probably get some food and just some essentials for the hotel. And then tomorrow will be the proper day. We're gonna have an early night tonight. Just waiting for our Uber. It's still so warm. How warm is it right now? it's all my life and it's 5 46 in the evening but we're doing okay jet lag wise we've made it to disney springs lucy and helena are my tour guides because i have absolutely no idea where i am what's going on it's so warm but surprisingly like our energy we're doing quite good we're gonna find somewhere to eat sit just holiday there Wow, store. Gosh. Got some elaborate costumes from there. And these are the views. Oh, it's so surreal being here because normally I'm the one that's watching the vlogs of people here, let alone being the one to actually film it. Massive M&M store there. It's really busy, but it's a Saturday. I kind of forgot on what day it is. I mean, to be honest, it should be about half, you know, we're about 10 past 11 back at home, but it's 10 past 6 here for us. Nice view out onto the lake down there, and then we've got a Starbucks. 
last time when mum and I were in Disney Village at Disneyland Paris we actually got a Starbucks and then had photos in front of the castle. Got a Marvel store here and we were just saying that um, there's actually some people who are doing our programme who are working in Disney Springs uh, which I think would be really fun because particularly if you're in merchandise you're literally in like the shopping hub of Disney. And the Star Wars store there. Disney style. There's absolutely loads. So we've just rounded the corner from Disney style and it opens up all the way down there. But we're gonna go up and over this bridge. I'm just following Lizzie and Helena to be honest because they've been here multiple times and know exactly where the good places to eat are. Um, just taking it all in. Nice little water feature down there. And the view of the big balloon there. I'm only familiar with the one at Disneyland Paris. The facades are so, so detailed. Like, it's actually amazing because this is actually free to come to. So you don't actually have to have a Disney park ticket to come around here. So like, if you're a local, you can come to Disney Springs anytime you want. And since we are now locals, we can come here whenever we want to. The size difference of this place compared to the one at Disneyland Paris is actually ridiculous. Like, and we're only going down one section here now, but it's still so warm, it's good vibes. And also, as you can see, there are some stores that aren't even Disney related as well. So there's all sorts of different stuff you can go to. Where are we going? Oh my goodness, this looks good. So following Lucy and Helen's recommendation, we're going to Blaze Pizza, which I'm not gonna turn down any pizza anytime soon oh it's huge i love 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 everything it's really busy tonight as well but it's saturday night and there's a big gray cloud up here but it's not hit us just yet there was a little bit of thunder earlier but not got caught up in any rain just yet but it's coming <laughs> Good morning everybody, it's now a couple of days later and we're just checking out of our hotel and ready to move into Flamingo Crossings. So we've got a little bit of makeup on just because they're going to be taking out ID pictures today. Um, today we have two things, so at 10 past 9 we're all checking in and then at about 2 o'clock I think we're, or maybe it's 4 o'clock actually, for our onboarding which is basically where they just say hi to us, welcome us to the programme. Um, but yeah, we're just sat outside now. Helen is here, she's just, there you go. <laughs> Um, we had a fabulous time yesterday, um, we went to Universal and got our annual passes um, because we're now Florida residents, that means we could get a cheeky discount on that so we can now go as many times as we want and we realised we actually only need to go twice for us to have made our money back and we already went once yesterday so we've only got to go one more time and then we've made all our money back. Um, but yeah, it was a fabulous day and we also met up with three other girls um, and went around as a little group of six, obviously. Our Lucy was with us as well, um, so there was six of us. And it was so lovely to start meeting people from the programme, they were all lovely. And we went on Velocicoaster as well, which was great. Um, but yeah, that's good for my crossings. And then the journey is properly starting. There we go, here are the views, got the suitcases. There's Lucy, she looks beautiful, all the cases here. And our taxi should be arriving any moment. Lucy has definitely been the mum of this trip. Like she's organising us. She's she's doing well. Helen looks so beautiful. Look at Helen's hair. I can't believe, can you believe that today is the yeah, day. Like absolutely crazy. We're, absolutely crazy. It's like filled with so, so many emotions. I know. I know. Yeah, I know. But like this is what this whole what? How many months has it been now? We applied in like six. Yeah. Six what this whole time has been leading up to. Oh, I think this is us. Our taxi's here. If anybody's interested, this is what I'm wearing. So I've got a little shirt on, just some trousers and some shoes. And then I've got a little cardigan as well because you have to have your shoulders covered. Any need to be Disney look from the waist up just for your photo. But yeah, it's just a smart ish outfit. We've made it! We're about to get checked in. These are the views. We've just got dropped off by our lovely Uber driver. There we go. 
first look at Flamingo Crossing. Let's go. So we've just put our luggage down in this spot here and now we're gonna go get checked in. So there's a walkway just down here where we're gonna go, but these are the views. <laughs> we're on the famous lawn that you always see on YouTube and stuff. And we've just had to do a couple of like little check-in stuff just on our phones and now we're in a queue just to go and get like either our headshots taken or something like that. Helena you look absolutely radiant right now and it's so funny like all the suitcases are just down there. <laughs> Hello everybody so we are now checked in. I'm with Izzy and I'm with Lucy and I'm with Maisie. Uh, Maisie and Izzy are living together. Um, I've just met my roommate and but we're now just um, going out to go and check out Lucy's apartment because she has, hasn't actually yeah, seen her roommates seen yet. But yeah. how are you finding Flamingo so far? It's massive, yeah, isn't it's it? It's huge. Nice. huge but the it's pool like, looks so nice. Oh, there's like two yeah. pools. Yeah. There's two pools. It's so bizarre, like actually being here, like in person, like just seeing it online. But yeah, we're having a pretty chill day so far. We did all our checking stuff this morning. Now we've got a bit of free time to just move in and like unpack. I haven't actually fully unpacked yet. And then we're gonna do our onboarding, isn't it? I don't yeah. really know what onboarding is, but um, after that, we're gonna Target. go to Target because we have to get like so much of our Target. stuff. Like we literally have to buy everything, like coat hangers. That that that's something that we've got to think about buying. Um, but yeah, just on our way now to Lucy's apartment, and I'll check yeah. in with you guys in a little bit. These are the views. So this is where the taxi dropped me off this morning, and this is a little bit of the outskirts of Flamingo. There we go. Obviously not going to give away any information about our actual addresses or else, you know, don't want to get into trouble with anybody. But this view down here is like the famous one that you always see on like social media and stuff, I think. Is this the one with the massive chess pieces? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, that's the one that you always like see online. Ooh, there's like hammocks that you can like chill in. Doing what? Sitting in a hammock? You absolutely can't. Now, you could try it now. Now could be your moment. Get a picture on the hammock. Go on. <laughs> if I had free time, I feel like I'd be more likely to go to the pool. Yeah, true. Then sit on the hammock. Very true. Don't, don't sit on the hammock. You're in the middle. Are you all right? Do that. Is it? Okay. <laughs> If he just got swallowed up by the hammock. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You just sat on the end there. You need to get in the middle. Like this. Holy shit, I'm not doing that again. Try it again. Please try it again. Please try. That was so funny. It was so So this is where I'm living. There's one pool there, which well actually no, it like connects around, and then there's another one there that's really big. Um, and then all the apartments go all the way back there. It's just it's absolutely huge. And then this is like the main bit where like all like the conference centers and stuff are. But like it's like I can't even explain, but it goes like right back there. And this is only one of the campuses. Um, so it's a bit like saying in a Disney five halls of residence to be honest, but yeah, it's very warm. And this is like a bit more of like a social place. And High School Musical 2 is playing in the background because obviously, you know, it's Disney. Got a massive like chessboard thing out here. I just don't know how much use I'm gonna get out of that, but there we go. Um, so yeah. Hi everyone. So it is about a week later now, I think, and you'll notice. I'm in my costume, these little puff sleeves. This is my merchandise costume for the Grand Floridian. Um, and honestly, I am loving it so far. Normally I have to wear like a jacket over the top when I am on stage, but it's just so hot outside that I just, I just can't be wearing that right now. Um, I'm sorry that I've not updated you guys in about a week. <laughs> um, things have just been super crazy, just getting settled into work and 
soaking up the last few free days that I had before starting work. Um, but hopefully I'll be back to vlogging a bit more now. I just wanted to say that I didn't film too much else on the Monday when I first moved into Flamingo Crossings just because I showed you the best bits there, but I actually found that day really, really hard. Not only just because like it was in a, those first few days I was in the hotel with Lucy and Helena, that kind of felt like a holiday. And then moving in here, I was like, right, okay, this is like real now. And I just, I felt a bit homesick. Um, the jet lag hit me on that one day. I was actually super ill, but um, yeah, I was like fine now. But yeah, I was just obviously having to adapt to sharing a room with somebody and living with three girls who I'd never met before. And that is nothing against them because they could have been more welcoming and more lovely. Like it was purely just a me, mindset thing like i think that'd be a big thing for anybody to move to the side of the world and then you know you're suddenly living with strangers but yeah i'm living with three other girls and they're just i couldn't have asked for nicer roommates to be honest like they're just so lovely they've made me feel so welcome um and yeah i'm excited to like get to know them more um over these next couple of months but yeah i just want to reiterate that i have purely shown you the best bits in this vlog um it's certainly not been easy and i think that's something that a lot of vlogs do miss out is the fact that it's actually really really difficult moving to the other side of the world um i am missing my friends and obviously like now i'm working i can't just facetime my parents whenever i want to because it's the time difference so when i get home at say i don't know six seven o'clock at night you know that could be like six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. That could be like 11 o'clock at night or midnight back home. And by then my parents are probably asleep. However, obviously if I'm desperately needed them, of course they'd wake up. But um, it's been a massive, massive shift for me. But on the whole, I am loving it. And it is everything that I wanted it to be. I'm loving my job role. I love the people I work with. And I'm still really close with all the other girls who you've seen on my vlogs up until this point. Um, you know, like meet up every night after work if uh, well, our shifts line up and on our days off we're going to the parks together. So yeah, it just has been a little bit of a whirlwind but we're here, we're settled now. I'm going to end this vlog here, I've been rambling on for about four minutes. Um, but yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I'm excited to show you what else I get up to now that I'm in the proper swing of you know, balancing work and also my days off and just enjoying everything that Disney's got to offer. But yeah, if this is your first time joining me here on my channel um, and you're considering doing a Disney program, please go for it. Applications for next year, as far as I'm aware, are still open. If they're not, then I apologize, but there's other programs that you can apply to do. But yeah, I will continue to tie and take you along on the shoot with me and I'll see you guys soon. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>